and when plot this is mentioned <coughs> let's watch the next topic that uh, trigonometry uh, based on that uh, 10.1 exercise so in the last class i have taken you <coughs> that trigonometry ratios of the sets so that uh, based on that sets formulas uh, it is containing uh, <coughs> this part that is a trigonometry so trigonometry So I'll repeat once again, <coughs> sin theta is equal to opposite by adjacent, no, no, opposite by hypotenuse, then cos theta, cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse, then tan theta, opposite by adjacent. So like that, the reverse of this is, uh, reverse of uh, sin is uh, cosec, and the reverse of cos is uh, sec, and reverse of tan is cot. So like that, there, there are six formulas. So, case one that you can do the exercise 11.1, that is, first question. In triangle ABC, right angle let B. Triangle ABC, ABC, right angle triangle let B. So this is 90. Then AB is 24, 24. Then BC is 7, BC is 7. Determine sine A cos A. So we have to find out here. sin A and cos A, sin A and cos A. So before that, when they give two sides, you have to find the other uh, other side of the uh, triangle. So here, this one is hypotenuse, this is base and this is altitude. So formula is Pythagoras theorem that is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Here AC not uh, not given. So AB AB they given as AB 24 24 square plus BC is 7 square, 7 square, 24 square is 576 and 7 square is 49. The total will be 625. So this 625 is AC is that root of 625. So it will become 25 centimeter. So you find out the third third uh, side of the triangle. Then they asked you to find out sin, sin A and cos A. So sin A. Sin A what is the formula? What I told opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse so here the given sin a this is a this angle is a so sin a sin a is nothing but opposite for, for this one our, our, uh, opposite is bc so bc divided by hypotenuse is ac so bc is 7 7 by ac is 25 7 by 25 like that cos a for cos a formula i told uh, adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by Hypo tens. So here adjacent is this one AB divided by hypotenuse is AC. So AB is 24 and AC is 25. So 24 by 25. Like that, you have to remember these three formulas sin A, cos A, tan A, and the reverse of that is cos A and uh, sec A and cot A. Like that, second problem. Second question tan P tan P minus cot R. So they given in the diagram that one PQR. This is PQR. They given P Q R. Sides are 12, this is 13, and this is not given. Q at the right angle. So Q at the right angle. So we have to find out the tan P minus cot R. So, before that, here in the first question, so they given sin C, here I will write sin C, sin C is what? So, if you take sin C here, you have to take this one. So, sin formula is opposite by hypotenuse, but for this angle, it is opposite is AB, AB, AB divided by, this is opposite, hypotenuse is AC, so AC opposite by hypotenuse. So AB by C is AB is so much 24 by 25. 24 by 25. Like that cos C. 
is equal to cos is C is there. Cos C means adjacent by hypotenuse. So adjacent is BC. So hypotenuse this one. 7 by 25. 7 by 25. So for this sine cos A, this sine is sin C means it will be different because here angle will come, angle will opposite this will be opposite and hypotenuse this one, this only. So opposite by hypotenuse, this cos means adjacent by hypotenuse. So A B C by A C 7 by 25. Second question they give one like this. So if you saw this one, first you have to find out the unknown value. So this is 12, this is 13. As you know, this is right angle, it is hypotenuse uh, will be 13 square is equal to 12 square plus this square, QR square is equal to 12 square is 40, 144 plus QR is not given, QR 13 square is 169. So this one. Difference is 25 is equal to QR square. So QR is equal to root of 25 is equal to 5 centimeter. First, there will be two values. You have to find out the remaining value by the help of uh, Pythagoras uh, theorem. Then you get the value QR. So tan P. Tan P means PEF. And then the what they given, they have that uh, that you have to take. So tan P. Here P is there. So P is opposite is opposite by adjacent formula. So opposite is QR. Opposite is QR tan p minus cot r so for tan p is opposite by uh, hypotenuse opposite by adjacent so this is for uh, for p it is opposite qr qr by adjacent is pq like that cot r this one so cot r is reverse of tan r so uh, if you take if you know tan r you can find out cot r if not uh, tan r formula is opposite by adjacent that reverse means adjacent by opposite so adjacent by adjacent this is adjacent for the r divided by opposite uh, adjacent by opposite so pq so this will be qr is qr equal to the answer as 5 5 5 by pq 12 minus qr qr is 5 divided by pq is 12 so it will be 0 so the uh, answer for the tan p minus quota is equal to tan p is nothing but here this angle so tan p is opposite by adjacent so qr by pq qr by pq like that quota quad means it is reverse of tan so tan means adjacent by uh, opposite by adjacent so quad means adjacent by hypotenuse so adjacent by opposite means qr is uh, adjacent then opposite will be opposite will be pq so pq so 5 by 12 minus 5 by 12 is equal to 0 See here, next problem, the given, if sin A is equal to 3 by 4, sin A is equal to this angle, so sin A, sin A is equal to 3 by 4, 3 by 4, then calculate cos A and tan A, sin A is given 3 by 4, so, the given angle A, same as only, A, B, C, this is B and right angle, so A is there, sin A means 3 by 4, sin A form is opposite by Hypotenuse. So opposite for this side opposite is this one. This will be three. Hypotenuse will be four. So you have to find out the this uh, this side uh, this side. So AB. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Then AC they given as four four square. Then AB square unknown value. Then BC square. BC square is three square. This will be sixteen minus. This will come this side. This square is nine. A B square. So 16 minus 9 is A B is equal to 16 minus 9. So A C square 4 square. This is A B square plus B C square. Then uh, opposite by hypotenuse. So opposite. Okay. Then you get 16 minus uh, 9 is 7. So A B is equal to root of 7. Then they will ask you to find out what you have to find out. Cos A and tan A. 
cos a and tan a. So for this cos a. So if you take this cos a, then it will be adjacent by hypotenuse. So adjacent is ab, ab divided by hypotenuse ac. So ab is you have found out that means root seven divided by ac is four. Like that tan a. Tan a is not opposite by adjacent. So tan a here opposite is bc, bc divided by hypotenuse is ac. So bc by ac is three by four. So tan a is equal to opposite by adjacent. So opposite by adjacent. So adjacent. Okay. B. So four by bc is three. Three by root seven. By means tan a is opposite by adjacent. So tan a you take this one the opposite is bc, bc divided by adjacent is ab. So ab, bc value is three. Then ab value is root seven. So answer will be three by root seven. By this we have to do the problems by the help of formulas. So this is A, B, C. Fourth problem. What is the given fourth problem? Given 15 cot A is equal to 8. 15 cot A, 15 cot A is equal to 8. Then you have to find out sin A and sec A. Sin A and sec A. So the given cot a. So you can write cot 15 cot a is equal to 8 as cot a is equal to 8 by 15. So cot a is equal to 15 cot a is equal to 8. So you can write this one cot a is equal to 8 by 15. Cot a from is reverse of tan a. Tan a what do you know? Tan a is opposite by adjacent. Like that cot a adjacent by opposite. So a value. So adjacent by opposite. Adjacent by a b. So this will be Adjacent means the uh, for angle A for angle adjacent is this one so it will be eight adjacent by opposite so for this opposite is BC so BC will become fifteen so you have to find out this one this is unknown value so for that first you have to take AC square is equal to BC square plus AB square so for this AC square is equal to fifteen square plus eight square so fifteen square is 225, you have to calculate this one, 15 into 15, so a square is 64, so it will be 289, 5 plus 4 is 9, 2 plus 6 is 8, then 2, 2, so 225 plus 64 is 289, so ac is equal to root of 289, so root of 289 is 17 centimeter, because root of 289 is 17 centimeter, so you find out the, this, this side, then if you know the three sides, then you can write the for the other uh, trigonometry ratio. So they ask you sin A. So for sin A what it is? This one. Opposite by hypotenuse. 15 by 17. 15 by 17 is the answer for sin A. Like that sec A. Sec A is the reverse of cos A. Sec A is the reverse of cos A. So cos, cos A is adjacent by hypotenuse. So sec A hypotenuse by adjacent. Hypotenuse, hypotenuse by ad adjacent. Adjacent is AB. So AC is 17 divided by AB is 8. So 17 by 8. So sin A is for this sin A opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite is 15 and hypotenuse is 17. By that sec A is reverse of cos. Cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. So hypotenuse divided by adjacent. So this one AC divided by AB. So AC divided by AB is 17 by 8. Next problem.
National fifth one. They given set data. So change the values. So you take the ABC. In that they given this NLS data. So fifth one. If you take the ABC, so they given set data. They given set data. Set data is equal to 13 by 12. 13 by 12. You have to find out. Calculate the all other trigonometric ratios. Okay. So this one is theta. So set theta. If you take the set theta, it is reverse of cos theta. So you should know the cos theta formula. Cos theta formula is adjacent by hypotenuse. So adjacent by hypotenuse. This is reverse is set theta. So uh, hypotenuse divided by hypotenuse divided by adjacent. So cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. So set theta is hypotenuse divided by adjacent. So 13 by 12. So if you know these two values, you can find the BC square. So BC square is equal to AC square minus AB square. Again, same formula. For all the same Pythagoras theorem only. So I am writing directly. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. No, directly you can write. BC square is equal to this is uh, AC square minus AB square. So AC square is AC. This is 13 square, 169. AB, AB square is 20, 12, 144. So remaining is 25. So BC will be root of 25. This will be 5 centimeter. So 5 centimeter. Why I take means because BC square we don't know. So for BC square, the formula is actually formula is AC square plus AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So we have to find out BC. So it will be a subtraction. So, so 169 minus 144 is 25. Root of 25 is 5. So we got the BC as value 5. So we got the all values. They ask you to write the other trigonometric ratio. Other trigonometric ratio means sine theta. Sine theta. So if this is sine theta. Uh, formula is opposite by hypotenuse. So opposite is 5. And I put it is 13, 5 by 13, like that cos theta. So cos theta, this one, at the same by I put it is 12 by 13. So <coughs> tan theta, tan theta. I don't know, this is reverse of this one. So you can write set theta, they given 13 by 12. Then you can write cos theta is equal to this reverse, so 12 by 13. Then tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent, opposite by adjacent, 5 by 12. So you find out the cot A, cot A, you have to find out cot A and cosec A. So one day one, three I have done, so remain two you can do yourself. Because if you know the formula, only you have to substitute the values. First you should know the formulas for the <coughs> this uh, trigonometry. Then sixth one. Sixth one. They given if A and B are acute angles such that cos A is equal to cos B, so then show you that angle A is equal to angle B. So if you take triangle A, <coughs> B, C, these two angles are acute angles because this is C angle is 90 degrees. So this is 90 minutes, remaining is 90, so these two will be. Uh, confirmed it acute angles. So acute angles, they told you to the given condition is cos A is equal to cos B. Cos A is equal to cos B. You have to find out that show that angle is equal to angle B. So for that, so as you know, this is the uh, angle. This is angle. So A. So cos A. Cos A means adjacent by hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse, this is uh, adjacent. So cos A is adjacent by hypotenuse. So AC divided by AB. Like that, cos B they given. Cos B means this angle. For angle A different and for angle B it will be different. So and for angle B, cos is there. So cos means adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent is BC divided by hypotenuse is AB. So for this angle it is adjacent by hypotenuse this one and for cos A this one for this, he is adjacent by hypotenuse, AC by AB. 
सो बोथ साइड ए बी इज देयर यू कैन कैंसिल इट डायरेक्टली सो ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी सी सो व्हाट वी डॉट ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी सी सो इफ ए सी इज ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी सी देन बी देन दिस विल बी बिकम आइसोसेलेस आइसोसेलेस राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल सो आइसोसेलेस राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल वन रूल इज देयर व्हाट इज देयर मींस the opposite angles will be equal then this two are 90 so if this is 90 and this is two are 90 so 90 half is 45 so this will be 45 this will be 45 because this is isosceles right angle this one is equal to this one here no ac is equal to bc we have proved this one ac is equal to bc so these two are equal means this is right angle triangle so it will become isosceles right angle triangle for isosceles right angle the opposite angles will be equal as the two sum is 90 the sum is 90 so One <coughs> angle B and angle A will be forty-five degrees. So ninety divided by two. So ninety divided by two is forty-five degrees. So angle A is called angle B. Seventh one. ट्रैंगल Right angle triangle A, B, and C. The sum they give us theta. So theta. So as you see, this one cot is equal to seven by eight. In this cot theta. So theta I have taken here. So cot theta means reverse of tan. So tan tan formula is opposite by adjacent. So tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent. Reverse of this means adjacent by hypotenuse. That is AB by BC. ए बी बाय अडजस्टेंट डिवाइड बाय अपोजिट सो पी सी सो एज यू नो दिस वन ए बी बाय बी सी सो ए बी इज सेवन एंड बी सी इज ए बिकॉज एगेन नो सेवन बाय एट द सेवन बाय एट इज नथिंग बट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कॉट डेटा कॉट पे इज नथिंग बट कॉट पे स्कोल टू अडजस्टेंट बाय नो अपोजिट बाय अडजस्टेंट इज टैंड डेटा सो अडजस्टेंट बाय अपोजिट इज कॉट डेटा सो कॉट विल बी सेवन बाय एट दैट इज ए बी बाय बी सी सो इट इज रिवर्स ऑफ tan that is adjacent by opposite then they told you to find out first one in that first one okay 1 plus sin theta 1 plus sin theta 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus cos theta Into one minus cos theta. So one plus sin theta into one minus sin theta divided by one plus cos theta into one minus cos theta. So we have to find out this value. So for that, this is cos theta. So one formula is there. It will come in the next topic that is adjacent. It is trigonometric adjacent. So the formula for that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. So This value will be always one. Sin square theta plus cos square theta. For any value of theta, it will be the uh, value should be one. So here one plus sin theta, one minus sin theta. If you see, this is also this is same. This also same. This also same. Cos is the cos. One one is the only uh, difference in the sign. So this if you take this one as a and this one as b, a plus b, a minus b. So a plus b, a plus b into a minus b. If you take what is the formula, it is a square minus B square. So a square minus b square is for nothing but a plus b, a minus b. If you take this one a and it is b, so one plus sine theta, one minus sine theta. So a square means one one square. So one square, one minus b square is sine sine square sine square theta. One minus sine square theta divided by this is one plus. So it is also same same method only. 
here cos is there so 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta is 1 divided by a p s cos theta so a square minus b square so 1 square minus cos square theta cos square theta so cos theta is there so cos square theta is equal to you have to find out this one so if you take this one 1 minus n square this will come this side 1 minus n square so 1 minus n square will be cos square theta divided by 1 minus cos square theta so if you take this one this side so 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta sin square theta So what we got? 1 minus sin square divided by 1 minus cos square theta is equal to cos square theta divided by sin square theta. Why cos square means? It is 1 minus sin square. So sin square if you take this side, so it will be 1 minus sin square is equal to cos square theta. So like that 1 minus cos square theta. So cos square theta here means it will be remain sin square theta. So cos by sin is, as you know the cos by sin is, as in the first class I told, cos by sin is tan. So it will become tan theta. So cos by sin is there. Square is there. So divided by square. So cos square theta divided by sin square theta whole square so this is also whole square it will become tan square theta so tan theta is equal to so for this tan theta so tan theta is opposite by adjacent so 8 by 7 8 by 7 so they ask you to find out tan square theta so tan square times again one square 8 square is 64 7 square is 49 so opposite by adjacent so opposite is here is bc so bc is 8 this 8 square divided by adjacent is 7, so 7 square, 64 by 49 is the answer. So only this uh, this term you have to bind it, so it is coming in the next topic, I will tell that one. Some identities are there for this uh, trigonometry. For the, the first identity is that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So 1 plus sin theta, 1 minus sin theta. You have to take them by upon the formula of help of a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. If you go through this, you can uh, easily find out. Then Cos by sin is, as you know, cos by sin is tan, but square is there, so square, then square, tan square theta. As you know, tan theta, reverse of cot, so 8 by 7, this square is 64 by 49. Here's one. Next, here's one. 3 cot a is equal to 4. 3 cot a is equal to 4. Then check whether 1 minus 10 square a divided by 1 plus 10 square a is equal to cos square a minus 10 square a or not. So this is equal to 1 minus 10 square a divided by 1 plus 10 square a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a. So you have to find out these two are equal or not. So First, you should know the three sides. Then, first you take diagram. So, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is right angle triangle. So, first you then in, in terms of K given. So, I have to take this one, angle A. Angle B is 90 degrees. So, angle C is also acute angle. So, they given in terms of angle A. So, 3 cot A. This one you can write as cot A is equal to 4 by 3. So, cot A is tan a is adjacent, uh, opposite by adjacent, the reverse of that is meant adjacent divided by opposite. So adjacent for a is this one, 4, opposite will be this one, bc. So 4 by 3. If you know those these two values, then you can find out ac. So ac is equal to, wait, this is called 3 quarter. 3 quarter is equal to 4, then check whether 1 minus tan square 1 plus tan square is equal to cos square a minus a square or not. Okay. Then, if you take ac square, so first you have to find out the remaining side of the triangle. So, ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square. So, this is 4 square. This is 3 square, so 16 plus 9, it will be 25. So root of 25 is AC is equal to 5 centimeter. Now we got AC is equal to 5. 
So this one 4 and this is 3 and this one by calculating you will get the s square that is 5. Then directly you, uh, you put the values in the formula. What they got? 1 minus tan square a. One minus tan square. So tan a will be tan a is opposite by adjacent. So opposite is tan a opposite is B C. So B C three by four. Three by four is the tan a. So we want only tan. So tan tan value also. So you, you can take tan. This is tan a. Tan square means tan square a. So squaring on both sides. So three square is nine. Four square is sixteen. Nine by sixteen. Like that, you have to find out this one minus tan square a divided by one plus tan square a. So 1 minus tan square is 9 by 16 divided by 1 plus tan square is tan square is 9 by 16, 9 by 16. So if, if you take LCM, it will be 16. So 16, 16 on the 16 minus 16 into 1, so 9, 9 divided by, this is 1 plus 9 by 16. This is also 16 into 1 is 16 plus 9 divided by 16. So these two will get cancelled because this is 16, this is 16. So remaining is 16 minus 9. That is 7 divided by 16, 9, 16 plus 9, so 25. So it will be 7 by 25. See once again, tan a. So the given tan, tan square a. So first tan a you find out. Tan a is nothing but opposite by opposite by adjacent. 3 by 4. So 3 by 4. Square means 9 by 16. Like that, you have to find out to 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a. So 1 minus tan square a is 9 by 16 is equal to 1 plus 9 by 16. By the help of uh, LCM, LCM is 16. So here nothing is there means 1, it will become it's 16. So 16 minus 9. Divided by 16, divided by all divided by 1 plus 9 by 16. So 1 is there, so 16 into 1 is 16 plus here 9 is there, this is 16 already on the same is there. So you can take only into 1, so 9, 16 plus 9 is 25, 16 minus 9 is 7, so 7 by 25. So this one you have to calculate cos square a, cos square a minus sin square a is equal to it is coming 7 by 24 are different. So you have to calculate. So cos a for this cos a, what will become cos a. Cos A formula is at the same by I got So 4 by 5, 4 by 5, 4 square minus sin A. Sin A is need this one. For this one, opposite by I got 3 by 5, 3 by 5 whole square. So it will be 4 square is 16 minus 3 square is 9 divided by 5 square is 25. So 25. 16 minus 9 is 7, 7 by 25. So if we choose these two value, 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a, we got 7 by 25 and cos square a minus tan square a also, you will got 7 by 25. Only you have to say, uh, know the formula and you have to substitute the values as it is. So you can take this one uh, diagram ABC, so a angle A gives them. If you, you can take A here also, so, but if they give specifically B as right angle, then you have to take B only right angle. If not, you can take A also right angle. Only variables will be changed uh, uh, in the sequence order, okay? For this, uh, uh, for all it is the uh, same only. Last one. In this one is the ninth one. Ninth one. In triangle ABC, right angle at B. So they give one right angle at B. So you have to take right angle only at B. We can't take other variables. So B, this is right angle triangle. This is B. This is C. This is A. So in terms of what they give one, tan A is equal to 1 by root 3. So tan A is equal to 1 by root 3. So you have to find out sin A into cos C. Sin A into cos c plus cos a into sin c in second one cos a into cos c minus sin a into sin c so you have to find out this value so first you know 
tan a so tan a means this one yeah tan a is nothing but this is angle so for tan a means opposite by adjacent so for this opposite is bc so it will be one and uh, adjacent will be this one three this adjacent for the a angle is ab so root three one by root three we got then next one you have to calculate the this appendix value so root three square plus root three square plus one square square to root three into root three is three one square is one one square to four so ac is equal to root of four this is ac square ac square so ac will be root of four it will be two centimeter so if you take the values in the center then it is two centimeter this will become two centimeter so then what we have to calculate sine cos and again sine cos and cos cos and sine sine so for this one first one find out sine a sine a for sine is opposite by hypotenuse 1 by 2 1 by 2 like that cos c so okay cos b i will take cos a because cos a will no cos a cos a is a, a means adjacent by hypotenuse root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 like that <coughs> they have to do sin c sin c then i will take this angle so for this sin opposite is this one root 3 divided by hypotenuse is 2 root 3 by 2 like that cos c cos c this one angle for this one adjacent is bc 1 by hypotenuse is 2 for cos c also for cos c that like that sin c this is their opposite is ab so root 3 divided by hypotenuse is 2 so for this angle is different for this also different so you got the all angles then you will substitute in the first one so sin, first is sin a into cos c sin a half into cos c it is also half sin a is equal to 1 by 2 and cos c cos c is 1 by 2 plus cos a cos a is nothing but here root 3 by 2 then into sin c sin c is root 3 by 2 so this one So this one will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So 2 to the 4. So 1 by 4 plus root 3 into root 3. So root 3 into root 3 is root 9. So root 9 is 3. 3 by 2 into 2 is 4. So this will be 1 plus 3 is 4 divided by 4. So it will be answer 1. So for this one, sin a into cos c plus cos a into sin c is value is 1. Like that you have to find out second one. Only you have to put the values. So cos a. Cos a is nothing but here. Root 3 by 2. Then cos c, cos c is 1 by 2, 1 by 2 minus sin a, sin a is nothing but 1 by 2 and sin c, sin c is root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2. So root 3 by 2 is root 3 by 4 minus this is also root 3 by 4, so it is equal to 0. So for the for this <coughs> uh, solution, cos a, cos a is nothing but root 3 by 2, then cos c, cos c is nothing but 1 by 2 then sin a is 1 by 2 then sin c is root 3 by 2 minus is there so root 3 by 4 root 3 by 2 becomes 0 so value is 0 for this one it is 1 why because it is plus is there so sin a sin a is 1 by 2 into cos c cos c is 1 by 2 so into plus cos a cos a is 1 root 3 by 2 into sin c sin c is 3 by 2 root, root 3 into root 3 is root 10 so it will become 3 then 1 by 4 3 by 4 is 4 4 by 4 is 1 so answer will be 1 so for the uh, <coughs> For today this much is enough so you find the values of the different and that trigonometry ratios only you have to know the the three formulas that is sine cos and tan that these three work three will be that uh, cosec uh, set and cot so if you know the two values you have to find the third value then you will put the values in the uh, equation uh, or they will they ask you to, to find out the values like this we have to only substitute the values of that trigonometry ratios okay correct so thank you